What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be painting the Alero. Um, the purple didn't go too good, so I got a spray gun and I got some Rust-Oleum. We're gonna do the $50 Rust-Oleum paint job right here in my front yard. Now when I recorded this project, I didn't really do much explaining because, uh, I don't know, I just didn't, before, when I started prepping, I didn't know I was gonna start a YouTube channel, so. I started prepping and I had I haven't really didn't really record much of the prep work but I really just went over it with 220 grit and some scotch bright pads to get the surface all smoothed out and then on the fender I did some rust repair that was pretty cool um all the rust off and you see I went through in a couple areas there's another little dot up here but uh, I ground up tried to smooth out this line as much as I could get as much rust out from under here as possible I gotta go up in here a little bit more but I got all the rust out so now I'm gonna use some Bondo and then Bondo over this and see if we can't make it look good we shouldn't need too much probably and, yeah, that should be good. Now this is the first layer, so we're not gonna go just worry about getting it too smooth or anything. decent amount of it and we're just gonna slide it right on there just like that make sure to cover up all the pits we just made and we're grinding off all that rust like that we'll let it dry for 25 minutes and we'll sand it down all right this is cured now I think we're, we're just gonna sand along this plane we're gonna try to get this as smooth as possible I think anything will look look better than what it did
pretty much all the rust is gone. I think, I think that turned out pretty dang good. Now I'm gonna hit it with some 220 grit and the Scotch Grape pad. Just as smooth to blend, blend all these scratches in and get this to one big smooth finish. And then I think I'll shoot it with some primer. All right. All right, let's shoot this bad boy with some primer and see how we did. all the rust completely gone well, I still got some deep scratches but I'm gonna wet sand out this this primer I just wanted to I just wanted to show you what what the new lines looked like all right so right here I just bondoed up a little hole uh, I did a pre I did a bondo job a while ago because I used to have a uh, spoiler on here and I I took it off because I didn't I didn't like it and I'm gonna get a bigger one soon because I like being a ricer, but I did a really, it's my first time doing Bondo. I didn't, it wasn't the best. It wasn't terrible either. So I sanded it all down and then I put it, I uh, hit it to make a dent. And that's what I did here. I put the Bondo over it, sanded everything down. I already did it up here. Can't really, you can't even see it anymore, but I'm gonna finish sanding this with the, uh, the scotch Bright pad and some 220 grit. And then I'm gonna shoot it with some primer. All right, so I took a drill with a wire wheel on it and I went through all these old Bondo spots and I ground all the Bondo back off, all the paint back down to bare metal and all these spots. And I'm gonna dent them up. Whoops. I'm gonna dent them up and then I'm gonna sand it all flat and put the Bondo back in. All right, so for my hood, I don't have it prepped yet because I just haven't done it yet. So I was gonna save it and show you guys. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty banged up. It's got a lot of dings and scratches. And there's a, I don't know if you can see it, but right here in the middle, it's a really hard tape line that I have to somehow sand back out. It's because when I was experimenting with colors, I had red over here, white over here, and then it was just this color in the middle. So I have to figure out how to get rid of this tape line and then, yeah. This hood is a mess. I don't even, it's gonna be rough. But once once we get it all prepped, I think the whole car should be ready for paint. I got the Bondo on over there, it's curing. Um, I'm gonna sand it down and probably put another layer on and then get some primer on that. And then the trunk should be done. The bumpers are done. My two front fenders are done. The hood's all that's left. And then now I just gotta wait for mother nature to give me a good spring day to paint up some car parts. Okay, unfortunately my camera's about to die, but I got the Bondo on, letting it cure. Well, my second layer, this is the second layer. And I went and picked up some 40 grit. Just because the 80 grit, it worked fine but I ran out and I figured this 40 grit would just eat it away really, really quick. And then I'll go, I'll go back over it with the, the 220. And then over here on the hood, whoop, I've started sanding in this area. You can see kind of taking out, there's a body line right here. I've kind of done this whole side. And then I just started over there. Now I'm going to come back this way. I'm going to get this whole section. Try to, figure out what that is I don't know what that is it won't wipe away I don't know what it is it's some type of stain and then uh, I'm gonna get that side done prime up those little spots and the hood should be ready all right I got the paint all mixed up and I think we're ready to go oh, my. 
glossy pretty good um, you saw me going over with the spray can that was because uh, there was a couple spots the uh, that gun couldn't get to but uh, I had perfect match color spray paint so I went ahead and used that it turned out pretty good there's quite a bit of orange peel on this side as compared to the other side but uh, also down here I don't know if you guys can see that it's like a uh, there's a weird texture. I think it's because I didn't clean it good enough. So, luckily it's at the bottom. I might be able to wet sand it out. We'll, we'll have to see about that. But other than that, it, pretty proud of it. Turned out pretty good. Now I'm gonna try to pull it into the garage without destroying the paint. Wish me luck. another batch of paint we are going to get the hood and then I have a, uh, a fender over here off camera that I'm gonna do but I'm gonna do that and Is so sad, but oh, now you're out of focus. Great.
All right, well, I got, that's unfortunate that he fell over, but I got the hood done and the fender done. These chunks are from improper cleaning of my gun. So hopefully those can be wet sanded out. It, didn't, it wasn't too bad on the hood. The hood was very orange peely. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very orange peely. So that'll definitely have to get wet sanded, but it turned out good. It's nice and shiny. Fender's done, car's done. The whole project's done. Well, still gotta put it back together and move this into the garage. Well, anyway. I will be back when we start reassembling the car.